This is my first YouTube video and I thought I'd start off by showing you how to find a tardigrade. The tardigrades I find are in moss. To extract the tardigrade I add water to the moss and then I press the moss onto a plate. Once the water has dripped out I then extract the water using a pipette. With the water inside the pipette I then put it onto a glass plate and then I take it over to the microscope. The objectives that I'll be looking at are between 40 times and about 400 times magnification. It's important to note that tardigrades aren't the only things that are in this water sample. The micro world is truly unforgiving. In this sample, microorganisms and bacteria compete to survive. In this world, the larger organisms are outnumbered. In fact, some of the most dangerous critters in this sample are the smallest. If there's any sign of weakness, the opportunistic bacteria will jump on it, and it will become a feeding frenzy. The tardigrades you'll soon see are considered to be extremophiles. An extremophile is an organism that thrives in extreme environments. Extreme environments may include high pressures and varying temperatures. However, what else does the tardigrade offer to ward off varying predators in this micro world? Every tardigrade has eight legs. Each leg contains up to three to eight claws. And these claws are sharp. To protect her young, a mother will lay her eggs inside her molted skin. The eggs are then covered with sperm of the male. By laying the eggs inside the skin, this offers an added protection to the eggs. The shed skin acts as a barrier to other microorganisms, and it prevents them from eating the vulnerable young. This may be a mother's love, but this added protection helps ensure the survival of her species.